यू आर वॉचिंग ट्रेवल वर्ल्ड ऑनलाइन एयर इंडिया पोस्ट रुपी सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड क्रॉल लॉस इन ट्वेंटी एटीन नाइनटीन विल बायर्स कम फॉरवर्ड फॉर डेट रिड इन एयरलाइन ITC Hotels announces the launch of super premium luxury hotel ITC Royal Bengal in Kolkata. Saadiyat Island Resort and Jumeirah Al Watba Desert Resort and Spa's latest addition to its MICE offerings. Travel marketplace MICE Connect 2019 will take place in Sri Lanka on July 2nd and 3rd at the Hilton Colombo. IRSDC Indian Railway Station Development Corporation to get technical assistance and grant financing from France. Indigo to start daily flight between Kolkata Hong Kong from 20th August. Due to low fleet utilization and high fuel prices among other, Air India posted a loss of rupees 7600 crore in 2018-19. An official source said the total revenue in the previous fiscal stood close to INR 26000 crore. The airline has gone into losses ever since its merger with Indian Airlines in 2007. The massive fleet order cleared by the UPA government continues to weigh on its books. In the first two months of the fiscal, we have seen 20 to 25 percent increase in our sales. If restriction from Pakistani airspace is withdrawn, we can still make operating profit, he said. The plan is to sell the airline within 100 days. The accounts for last fiscal is in the process of being closed so that the bidding process could start at the earliest. If there is no takers for Jet Airways, will it be possible to get buyers for Air India? ITC Hotels got another feather in its crown by inaugurating its new super premium luxury hotel in Kolkata, ITC Royal Bengal by Mamta Banerjee, Chief Minister of West Bengal. This is the 14th luxury collection hotel in India, christened one of a kind, the grand property built with an investment of nearly rupees 1400 crore. Speaking on the occasion of the launch, Sanjeev Puri, Chairman and Managing Director of ITC Limited said, This signature property will provide further impetus to transforming the tourism landscape in the state and will be an icon of repute on the world tourism map. This landmark investment from ITC is a part of the company's growing footprint in the states across all sectors, namely agriculture, manufacturing and services. The newly opened Jumeirah at Saadiyat Island Resort and Jumeirah Al Watba Desert Resort and Spa provide beautiful beach and serene desert options that perfectly complement the dynamic downtown location of the renowned Jumeirah at Etihad Towers. Luxury ocean views at Jumeirah at Saadiyat Island and state of the art facilities at Jumeirah at Etihad Towers in the heart of the capital, the unique offer is expected to attract the mice industry both locally and internationally. Jose Silva, CEO Jumeirah Group said, "Abu Dhabi is now seen as a leading mice destination in the region and with its burgeoning reputation as a cultural hub and success in hosting many major global sporting events, we expect to see this growth continue." At Jumeirah Group, we recognize the importance of this segment and have developed a mice offer across a newly established portfolio to meet the needs of local and international businesses and organizations. Ayurveda is the oldest medical science practiced in the world. A guest could come get treatments with us at a service center, an Ayurvedic clinic, uh, or our treatment centers. But then they go back home to the same routine. They get stuck in the same traffic. They go to the same stresses. So they needed a break. So we created our healing retreat here, which is our hospitality division. Today, Kerala has 35 healing centers located in eight countries internationally. This is in line with our vision to treasure and perpetuate Ayurveda. and propagated science globally Indian Railway Station Development Corporation IRSDC to get technical assistance and grant financing from France For the purpose IRSDC has entered into a tripartite agreement with French Railways SNCF and AFD to provide technical assistance and grant financing for the railway station development program in India Speaking on this occasion, Suresh Angadi, Minister of State of Railways, Government of India said, "India and France have a strong and long-standing prosperous partnership in the railway sector. SNCF in the past has been associated with Indian Railways in conducting speed upgradation study for Delhi Chandigarh section and station development of Ludhiana and Ambala stations. I am sure that this effort will go a long way in further strengthening Indo-French cooperation and will help Indian Railways in positioning its stations to world-class standards. Indigo is all set to enhance its point-to-point -point connectivity with the announcement of a daily non-stop flight on the Kolkata-Hong Kong route. 
effective August 20, 2019, Indigo will operate its daily flight on Kolkata-Hong Kong route, providing both business and leisure travellers more options to choose from. William Bolter, CCO Indigo, said, As part of our international expansion plans, we are happy to announce the launch of a daily direct flight on the Kolkata-Hong Kong route. We are committed to strengthen and grow our international network in line with our overall growth strategy to meet the requirement of both business and leisure travellers. It is our constant endeavour to provide flexibility of choice to our customers as Indigo continues to offer on-time, affordable, courteous and hassle-free flying experience consistently. You are watching Travel World Online.